All right, Tricked Out Brick fans, I wanted to uh, walk you through just a quick assembly video for the Tricked Out Bricks display cases for LEGO minifigures. These come in, in several different varieties. They come in a single figure case. They come in a triple figure case. This one happens to be the 12 figure case. And then we also offer an 18 figure case. Now it comes in a kit, assembly is required. Let's just quickly go through uh, what's in the kit and then we'll get to, uh, to prepping and, and assembly. Um, don't be surprised as, as you initially take it out of the, out of the, the packaging, you're gonna notice each acrylic piece is covered with uh, either a paper masking on both sides to protect the, uh, the acrylic, or it'll have a, a film masking. Uh, this is the base piece and um, included with the kit also is the Lego brand uh, round studs, as well as, as the pieces that will hold the shelf. So the shelf there and sides, the top of the case, and then the front and back. So uh, in the, on the packaging, we'll just pull this out. Um, visually, there's your assembly guide. Um, these are the parts in the kit. Let's go ahead and, and take the masking off and, and put it together. What I recommend is, is find uh, one of the many <laughs> Lego uh, brick separators you probably have laying around your house. These work as great tools to remove the, the paper uh, film. So what I recommend is starting on the corner. Um, just peel up some of that paper. Once you've got it up, and we'll just take it. I recommend going slow initially until you get this thing going and then it just peels right off. I try to do my best not to touch the acrylic a lot. That way I don't have to do a lot of cleanup afterward. If, if you do have a little piece that, uh, that doesn't come off completely, just go ahead and use your brick separator to peel up an edge and remove it. We'll do the same to the back side. Now the base, um, you'll notice some of the edges might not be clean, but, but the reality is this is protecting the beautiful black acrylic base underneath. So uh, whatever the plastic looks like really shouldn't be too concerning to you because as you take it off, you reveal a nice clean look. go. Now, um, when putting, uh, putting the Lego pieces into the cut holes, what I recommend is stack these little guys up. It makes it a whole lot easier to insert. So I'm going to stack these up. And just do one at a time. Now, what you might find, if, if you happen to uh, go to insert these and they don't fit in, chances are you've got the piece upside down. Uh, the acrylic base is cut so that these will insert only one way. So you always know which way is the top um, by whether or not these are able to, to insert. Uh, easily. Okay, and we'll do the same uh, for the shelf. Once I've got those in, I'll turn that upside down, just push down to make sure they're fully seated. Um, now, you'll, you'll notice there's some notches cut into, into the shelf and you'll see some corresponding um, notches, you know, a little place for the notch. The way the notches should face forward. And then that just 
I can line it up correctly, just snaps right in. And, and locks in to the point where it shouldn't come off. All right, that's the base assembly. Let's go to uh, the part where you'll, if you're going to have trouble with the assembly, this is typically where it comes and it happens with, with the assembly of the, acry the acrylic uh, case. The top piece I typically will do last, so we'll set that aside. Um, now, if we reference our picture, we'll notice these notches on the front are facing up. So two notches facing up. Uh, you'll notice the side pieces have a notch on top and bottom, so it, it really doesn't matter which side's up, they're the same. Um, I like to start by, by coming to the side. Now, if, if you find that the pieces just aren't fitting together, try this. Flip it around, and now try. You'll find that it fits in better one way than the other. So if you find yourself really forcing and putting pressure on that to make it fit, you likely just need to reverse it. Okay? So let's go through the process of doing that. Okay, we got that one right on. Again, making sure that my notches here line up with the notches in the front. Okay, now I'll, I'll set it down. I'll put a little pressure on it. I'll push in the, on the sides just to make sure it's nice and and tight. Everything's seated correctly. Um, it's not a bad idea to go ahead and set this on the case before putting the top. This is likely where you're, if you're going to crack the case, this is where it's going to happen. Um, it's putting this last piece on. Now, again, like the other pieces and, and just the way the acrylic is cut, if I go to, to push this on, and I'm getting a lot of resistance and I and all my holes are lined up. Um, what I would suggest before pushing to the point of, of breaking, go ahead and reverse this or and, and give it a shot. So um, this way it's just not going on well. So really, this is this is our path right through here. So I'll start at the end. And I'll work my front end. I'll come around to the side to make sure everything's square. Make sure I'm all lined up. And then typically I'll take this, I'll reverse it, and push down at once until it until all those uh, those pieces seat. And then I'll just give them a little pinch to make sure that everything's in there tight. And now we are done. Now with these larger cases, they're not designed to pick up from the top. Um, the smaller cases, you're able to pick them up from the top. Uh, these larger ones, uh, because of the weight of the base and the design, really, if, if you're gonna be picking it up, grab it from the side. Um, top comes off. Let me show you once, once you have uh, mini figures loaded in, for makes for kind of a fun um, way to display the mini figures you you've come to love keeps the dust off one of the nice features that that really is not noted on the packaging is because of the high quality acrylic we use it is uh, UV uh, a UV protectant so it'll filter out the UV rays um, ABS plastic particularly the the light grays and and the whites uh, in the in the Lego uh, products, when exposed to sunlight over time, will yellow and fade. Um, in the case that that'll protect it from those ultraviolet light rays that uh, that discolor 
the ABS Lego uh, bricks. So anyway, keep them dust free, keep them fade from fading and uh, kind of a cool way to, to present uh, your, your mini figs. Um, sure appreciate your support. Tricked out bricks, uh, 12 figure case, mini, mini figure display kit. Everything you need to know right here.